Good afternoon, everyone. James from Junkyard Box here, back at you with another outdoor arena review today. And today we are testing the One Tigress waterproof capsule. Now this was recently sent to me by my buddy Han of One Tigress, and I've been testing it these last couple weeks, and it has worked exceptional. I've had zero problems with it. So a summary of what it is is, of course, it's designed to keep things waterproof, a small amount of items inside. So I could definitely see this used for emergency survival kits, similar to how a lot of people use the Altoid survival tins, or also for medication. Now, I'm fortunate enough to say that I don't require any med serious medication outside of, you know, uh, the occasional headache. I don't have any serious health issues. However, not everyone's like that. And this is definitely useful. Say you're going out on a fishing trip, kayaking, something like that, and you want to make sure your medication is safe. This works very well. So let's go ahead and start with the specs first, and then we'll go ahead and get to the fun testing. So it's made out of the material of 6061 aerospace aluminum. It weighs 3.5 ounces. That is, of course, when it's empty. And it is 5.4 inches by 1 inch thick. The inside diameter is 3.54 by 1.1 inches. Okay. Now, it really just came by itself with some extra rubber stoppers for the top. Just to demonstrate this rubber band around here to make sure that no fluid leaks in here. They did give you a couple of extra ones, two of them to be exact. So that's pretty cool. So in case you damage it, you can just replace that. And it opens on both sides. So you can open it from up here on the top, but it can open on the other side as well. So that's really cool. Okay, so let's get the simulation underway. So I said earlier that this could be useful for a small emergency kit with the bare essentials as well as medication. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of mix of both. Now, first things first, fire. So if you were to get lost, you know, separated from your comrades, you know, of your gear, you know, you, fl you flipped over your kayak or something like that, your canoe, you're going to need some fire. A very quick way to get a fire going is with the lighter as well as the lighter is very susceptible to the elements especially water so it's going to be a good test to see how waterproof this is not only a lighter but we need some kind of quick tinder so a cotton ball would work very well not only for just tinder but first aid in case you need a you know quick patch up and not only that but a cotton ball you can tell right away when it becomes soaked so it's going to be a good test as well to see how good it holds water and last but not least, we got medication. Now this is just ibuprofen. So this isn't any serious medication, but you know, this is just a simulation for any ser you know, anything you really might require when out in the wilderness. And I'm just gonna place these rubber stoppers just because I don't want to lose them. Okay, now let's go ahead and close this up. And let's get ready to go ahead and have some fun. Okay, so testing time. Now I attached a carabiner to it and I'm gonna attach it to my belt loop just so it's always attached to me so if I lose my pack anything like that it's always on my person okay so without further ado let's go ahead and simulate some bad kayaking canoeing situation so let's go and get started So far I've been about one minute in the water, swimming around having fun and testing this out. I'm just going to swim a little longer just to simulate an awesome diving experience and then we'll test out the contents. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so, moment of truth. Let's just see how dry the items inside are. Now, before I do that, let me just go ahead and get a towel and clean off my hands so there's no confusion with moisture. So let me go ahead and just towel dry this really quick. So I did dry my hands, and uh, let's go ahead and check out the stuff. Let's see how dry they remained. Okay, so first things first, I have the little baggie that has the little stoppers. This is nice and dry. How about the lighter? Now, everyone knows that when a lighter gets wet, it's not going to work for at least momentarily. Works pretty good. Cotton ball is nice and dry. And the medication is nice and dry. They're not soggy, it's not, there's no discoloration. So everything remained nice and dry in here. Now, I did stay about 10 minutes underwater. I tried to swim around, just cause a lot of commotion, see if that would somehow you know, cause a break in the seal, um, some sort of weakness. But no, everything came out just right. Everything just worked fine. And uh, I honestly, I recommend this product. I think this product works well for not only campers and you know people that require certain medications, but just preppers in general. Preppers in general, you know, having something like this, you can get a couple of them, and you can just put them into your different bug out bags, your vehicle kits, things like that, just for the very bare essentials. No luxuries here. You know, not a bug out bag, but just a bare essentials, you know, survival tin with maybe a small Swiss Army knife, a lighter, you know, things like that. Water purification tabs, and that could work very well. To me, in my opinion, I think this is an excellent tool, and it definitely passed my test. Now, from here on out, I'm off to go swim some more, enjoy myself, and this now goes to another member of the outdoor arena, so they can go ahead and test that out. So guys, that's about the conclusion of this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to keep up with my adventures. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.